In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a small boat using Autodesk Inventor. This is part one where we're going to cover the 3D modelling of the boat. In later videos we'll cover the uh, surface appearance and applying textures and materials and we'll also lay out an orthographic drawing using third angle projection. But for now we're going to look at how to do the 3D modelling. So let's head over to Inventor and get started. Okay, on screen in Inventor I've got an example of the boat that we're going to make. Okay, it's quite simple. We're going to be using mostly extruding, mostly sketching, but we'll also use a rectangular array as well. Your screen when you start Inventor may look something like this, in which case our first step is to create a new file. And you can do that two ways. You can either click on this little page right here or this little page right up the top of the screen. Let's click on this one right here. We have to create a metric file and make sure that it's our millimetres and then create. Any warnings that come up about styles or appearances, just OK them away. Inventor may take some time to create an empty scene like this, particularly if you've just switched the application on. Okay, but Shortly, once Inventor settles down, we should have an empty scene right here. And our first step is to draw the outline of the boat. For that, we're going to go up to start new 2D sketch. Click up here and select the floor to sketch upon. And we're going to pick, you'll notice that the sketch tool has now become available. I'm going to click on rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle, being very careful that we allow Inventor to snap it to the origin. Okay, watch this turn green. Okay, once it goes green, it's snapped. Start a rectangle there with a click and we'll finish it over here. Okay. Now it doesn't matter what size your rectangle is, but as long as it's kind of long and thin, that would be fine. Now let's use the hand tool to shift that rectangle over a little bit and don't forget to switch the hand tool off again when you're finished. That's us finished with the rectangle tool, so let's go right click and OK. The next thing is that we want a line right here. Now for some reason Inventor's got equation curve Okay, you'll probably have line here, but if it's hidden, I'm going to press a little down arrow and I'm going to find a line in here. Okay, once I've got line, I'm going to snap to there, to the corner. I'm going to draw a line out to there and there and give our boat a pointed front end. Again, when I'm finished, I right click and I press OK. Right, so we've drawn the outline of our boat. It's time to add dimensions. Go up to the dimension tool and the first dimension we're going to choose what we're going to set as the overall length of the boat. So, click on the back edge and click on the very front point of the boat there. And then our third click will be to place this number down somewhere. So let's place it there. Now I'm going to change this number to 205. But what's going to happen once I do that is that the screen is going to change. I'm going to type 205 and I'm going to press this tick button right here. Okay. Now the boat has become so large that it's gone right out the side of our screen. So to get it back, a handy little trick is if you double click on your view cube up here where it says top, double click, Inventor will zoom to fit everything back on screen. Okay, our dimension tool is still switched on because it's still blue, so let's put in another dimension in this back edge here. One click on the back edge and then another click to put it down over here. I'm going to change that to 45. Just like that. Actually, we'll make that 44. Click it again. I'm going to change that to 44. Okay. Inventor's pretty good at that. If you make a mistake, you can just click the dimension again and change it. So we're going to make that 44. Now, notice that our lines are going dark blue. Starting off green and they're going dark blue. We want to turn the whole thing dark blue. And to do that, we need to tell Inventor two things about our lines and our shapes. We need to tell Inventor where those lines are and how big they are. Okay, so let's continue with the dimensioning. Tool still on, it's still switched on blue, so let's go from here, click there, and click on the very nose there. And let's a third click, we'll stamp down that number. I'm going to change that to 40. And tick. And finally, set a dimension from that edge down to the point, and stamp our number down out here. 
and we want that to be halfway across our boat and half of 44 is 22. Everything's gone dark blue, Inventor's happy with that sketch, let's press finish sketch and we may have to adjust our zoom again right here so again let's go up to our view cube and double click on the view that we want right in the corner. Let's extrude that, let's go to extrude. Now, when these boxes appear, this is Inventor asking you questions. Okay, that's why it's called the dialog box. And the first question it's asking you is, it's got this little button here highlighted in blue, and it's saying, which profile do you want to extrude? We're going to choose the triangle at the front, click in the middle of that, and the rectangle behind it, like that there. And we're going to set the height to be 45 millimeters tall, and press OK. We can use the view cube to inspect our model by clicking on the corners to give us a kind of 3D view or clicking on the words and the faces of the cube themselves. Just like this. And resetting it. Okay. Let's start another sketch to put in the cutouts in our boat. Okay, so we start a new sketch, click that, and it asks us where do we want to draw. We're going to select the side of the boat this time. I'm going to use a double click trick on right this time to centre that and zoom out. And we're going to take a rectangle tool, being really careful to let Inventor snap this to the corner. Watch it turn green again. There it goes. When it goes green, it's snapped. We're going to draw a rectangle in here, like this. And somewhere along here, we're going to draw another rectangle. Now, I want you to watch something as this rectangle gets drawn out. Notice how at some point the bottom end of this rectangle is going to want to snap to the bottom end of my existing rectangle. And it will be connected right there with a hard line. Okay, Let that happen and I'll show you why in a minute. And click your rectangle there. Okay, I've got green rectangles, I need to turn them blue. We're finished with the rectangle tool though, so right click and do OK. Let's go up to dimension, see if we can turn these green lines blue dimension. Our first dimension is going to be the length of this, so let's click between there, one click, two clicks, and our third click will be to put the number down up there. I'm going to change that to 40. Now, I can either hit the green tick, or I can simply hit return, or enter. So that's the width of 40, and then between here and here is going to be 25. And the next thing I'm going to do is set the depth. So between the bottom click to the bottom surface of this, we're going to change this to 22.5. Now, remember when we drew this other rectangle, remember how we let the bottom edge snap and find its way to that bottom edge. When I change this dimension, this one should follow as well. So let's change this to 22.5 and it has done. And the final thing we need to do is we need to set the position of these two green lines right here. So with the dimension tool, we'll click on this edge, put this edge, and put this down up here, and we'll make this 20. Okay, we've got a blue sketch, we can finish, and we can extrude. Inventor asks us, what profiles do you want to extrude? Well, I'll, I'll have that rectangle, and I'll have that rectangle. We'll select those two. But we don't want to add them like this. We want those rectangles to kind of chop bits out of our boat. So to do that, we're going to flip this to cut, like that. I'm going to set the distance to all and press OK. OK, our next step is to put a funnel on the front of the boat right here. So let's start a new sketch and click on this surface. Now that's not very useful. Inventor has chosen to put it right out the top of the screen. So I double click on top should bring that in. And if I need to zoom in more, I'm going to use my mouse wheel and my hand tool just to get in a little bit closer. And don't forget to switch the hand tool off again. OK, let's sketch a circle this time and stick it down roughly where you think the middle is. We'll pop that in right there. Once we're finished with the circle, we right click and we press OK. Now we need some dimensions. Click on your dimension tool set the diameter of the circle by pressing on its outside edge. Right there, stamp that number down 
I'm going to type in 18. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the dimension tool again to make sure it's in the middle of our boat. So click there, click the center point of the circle, and let's change that to 22. Finally, we're going to set it a distance away from this edge. So it's a dimension tool from that edge to the dot. Click it out there. I'm going to set that to be 20. Okay, now we've got a blue sketch. We can finish it. Click on finish. And extrude. Inventor asks us what profile do we want. Click on the circle. And you're free to choose what size you want to make this funnel. I'm going to set mine around 30, I think. And press OK. Okay, our next job is to put some holes on this surface right here. We're going to do this a slightly sneaky way. We're going to create one hole and then we're going to duplicate it uh, and create the six holes thereafter. So let's create our first hole. Let's go to sketch, start new sketch, click on this surface right here. Let's double click using top and choose our circle tool and somewhere here let's plonk a circle in roughly there. Right click and set OK. Now use dimension tool to set this up properly. Dimension, click on the edge of the circle to set its diameter, which in this case is going to be 8. And we also need dimension tool to set its distance from that edge to its centre point, which is going to be 10. And from this edge to its centre point, it's going to be 15 right there. OK, press finish sketch and then we're going to extrude that circle and make a little hole from it. Let's click on the circle, let's change it to cut and let's set the distance to be 22.5. OK, so that's us created one hole right there but in our example boat we had six holes whatever let's spin this round so it's the same way okay so how did we get the rest of these well we created what's called well what inventor calls a pattern but what most other CAD packages call an array and we used a rectangular array to copy this uh, feature in a kind of rectangle in a kind of grid fashion so to do that we're going to go up find your pattern tool it may be slimmed down like this or it may be expanded but there's this one here called a rectangular pattern click on that tool and we've got another dialog box up asking us questions. The first question it asks us is what features would we like to make a copy of? Bring your mouse over until your little hole here lights up. Now sometimes it's hard to get this. There it is there. Click on that. Okay. And then we need to set the copy directions. And we've got two copy directions. We use this arrow to set direction one. So click on this arrow. And then click on this edge. Now immediately Inventor has chosen that it wants to go this way, according to the green arrow. I want it to go the other way, so I'm going to flip that arrow around using this button. You may or may not have to do the same. Flip that round. And the second direction, in fact let's just adjust this. I'm happy with two copies, okay, one and two. And I want the spacing between them to be 24, like that. In direction two, click on this arrow click on this edge, okay, this time I want three copies, change that to three, don't hit return at this point, okay, because that will just dismiss the whole box, move your cursor into here, and set the separation distance to be 25, and then we can press OK, and that's us duplicated and created those six holes. The final thing we're going to do is we're going to add a curve to the back of our boat, and for that we're going to use the fillet command. And the fillet command is up here in the modify tab. Let's click on fillet. Fillet's got a slightly complicated dialog box right here, but it's asking us questions. The first thing it's asking us, we can tell because it's in blue, is what edges would you like to fill it? And we're going to choose this edge, click, and that edge, click. And you're free to type in any radius you want. Okay, in this case I'm going to type in 10 and I'm going to press OK. And that's us created a small wooden boat. 
So we learned quite a lot in this video. We learned how to create a sketch. We learned how to manipulate Inventor's view using the view cube and the hand tool. We learned how to zoom with the mouse. We've learned how to sketch and extrude. We've learned how to fill it. And we've learned also how to create a rectangular array. In a future video, we'll add appearances and surface textures to this boat. And I'll also show you how to lay the boat out into an orthographic drawing using third angle projection. The last thing you should do is make sure that this is saved. So go up to the little disk up here, or alternatively, you can go to File and Save. Okay, And I'm going to call this Boat and save it.